Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. It's Caitlin, your geeky girlfriend, and um, today we've got another video in our Bookie Babe book review series. I am having so much fun filming these for you guys. Um, I hope that you're enjoying them as much as I am enjoying filming them. Um, and today we've got another book by my favorite author. And if you've watched this far or any of the videos in this channel so far, you know that my favorite author is Sarah Dessen. We've got one more book to review in my personal collection. Um, and again, this book I read years ago when it first came out because anytime Sarah Dessen releases a new book, I am there like the next day or a couple months later adding it to my collection. So most of these I have not read recently, but I have been kind of skimming through some of the pages um, right before filming these videos to give you guys as best of a review as I can and to kind of re-immerse myself into those stories. So I've said in a couple other videos that that's something about Sarah Dessen books is that you can step away from them for some time and then pick them up and kind of exactly remember which one is which. Um, and I've also said in a couple of other videos that some of Sarah Dessen books like stand out in your mind for a really, really long time and then some kind of mix together and get lost um, or put to the back burner. And the one that I'm going to review today um, is one of those ones. It kind of, it doesn't really stand out to me. I had to really go in and kind of reread a couple, like almost a whole chapter to kind of remind myself what the premise of this book was, what the plot was. Um, and it was easy to do that. Like it was easy to remind myself, but it was not one that I remembered off top. So the book that we're going to be talking about today is The Moon and More by Sarah Dessen. And unfortunately, the um, book sleeve of this book got ruined. I took it to the beach and it got ruined. So I had to throw it away. But um, that's why the spine has like tape because it got pretty wet. Whoopsie. It's the bad thing about taking hardcover books to the beach. They um, get more ruined, I think, than paperbacks do. Um, but the Moon and More, like I said, it does kind of, um, if you're a Sarah Dessen fan, I don't know if anybody, like, I don't know of anybody that this one is their favorite. If it's you and it's your favorite, drop me, drop your name in the comments so I can give you a shout out because, um, I, this one just, it kind of is just in the middle for me. Um, it definitely does not stand out as one I explicitly remember. Um, but I, like I've said in several of the videos, Sarah Dessen's books are so much, like you pick them up and you read them and you read them fast. Like I blow through them. It only takes me like a week to read them usually. Um, but then a lot of them, the stories kind of run together. I think part of that is most of her stories take place in this South Carolinian beach town named Colby. And so a lot of the stories take place by the beach and a lot of the characters, you know, go to similar places and go to different similar restaurants and stores. And I think that's part of it. Um, there isn't a lot of variety in her settings, which causes some of the storylines to run together. Um, in this book, um, the main character is Emmeline, and her family owns a um, real estate investment or a real estate company for um, called Colby Beach Realty. Um, Realty, and so as people come to vacation to Colby, um, they can rent properties to stay in townhomes, houses, condos through Emmeline's family's company. Um, and she works there over the summer when she's not in school. Her sister just grad, her older sisters both work there, um, and her grandparents own the place, and they are both pretty regular characters in the novel as well. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember the situation with Emmeline's parents. I can't remember if like they're divorced and she like her mom lives there, but her dad doesn't. I don't remember if one of them passed away. I can't honestly remember. Um, so that's for you to read and find out and remind me because I did not dive into that part of the book um, to refresh myself. She does mention her mother at the very beginning, but I didn't read far enough and I've read it too long ago to remember like what the situation is with her parents. Um, maybe they're just on vacation or something themselves or they're traveling. That might be the case. Um, so I don't remember that part. Um, again, main character is a female teen, young adult. So this is a young adult fiction novel with a female, um, protagonist, which, um, falls right in line with most of the books that I read. Um, and in this book, because her family owns the realty business and the real estate, 
um, there at the beach, she sees a lot of different people come and go. And one of the people that comes and go is this filmmaker who brings this crew with her. And they're filming this documentary about this old soul who lives in the town that Emmeline lives in. Um, his name is Clyde. And they're trying to film a documentary about him. And they have all this trouble trying to track him down. Um, and one of the crewmates' name is Theo. And so he becomes like the male protagonist in the story and kind of the male lead, if you will, in the story and him and Emmeline form a friendship and she helps him, you know, get higher up with his boss, the filmmaker, um, or the director. Um, and so that's pretty much the whole premise of the story is they're trying to find Clyde and they're trying to film this documentary. And then Emmeline realizes that, you know, not to spoil, but her and Theo get pretty close. Um, and, you know, he has to at some point leave. And so that's a part of the book as well. Like what Theo decides to do, um, if he decides to stay, if he decides to go back with Ivy and go back, um, to what he was doing before that summer. Um, that's a big part and a big turning point in the novel. So I don't want to spoil it too much. And honestly, like I said, it's been a long time since I read it. So even if I try to remember what happens, I would probably be wrong. So I'm not going to try and make any spoilers. I'm not going to try and make any assumptions that I don't remember. I'm just telling you the facts that I do remember. Um, and just straight up giving you a recommendation about this book. Now I did mention this book is one that, um, obviously I did not remember. I had to kind of go back and open up and read a few pages um, to kind of remember exactly what was going on, who the main characters were. Um, so this one for me, um, based on what I remember of the story, I remembered it being more unique than, I love the beach ones. I know I just made that comment about how they all kind of run together, but I love those ones more than her ones that don't take place by the beach, like What Happened to Goodbye. Um, and the truth about forever. I liked those ones a lot less than I do like along for the ride moon and more those ones that do take place in Colby because I just love the beach um, town feel and the beach town storyline. Um, so I would probably give this one like a six and a half. It's like right in the middle. It's definitely not the worst. But it's definitely not my favorite. It's just right in the middle a little bit better than what happened to goodbye. Um, definitely better than The Truth About Forever. But it's just, it's another book. It's another good book. It's another solid book. But there obviously wasn't anything spectacular that I remembered off top. And so that's why I give it a little bit of a lower rating. I wish I could show you guys the cover art because the cover art is beautiful for this one. Um, and if you get the paperback version, even the paperback cover is really pretty. Um but yeah, Emmeline, The Moon and More, I can't really tell you too much else about the book because honestly, it's been so long ago since I read it. Um, but it does fall sort of in the middle of the pack in terms of Sarah Dessen. I would say my top three favorite Sarah Dessen books are Someone Like You. That one's definitely up there. It's my top number one. This Lullaby and um, the rest of the story. Her most recent one was really, really, really good um, and really, really, really well done. So I really, really liked that one. Once and for All is pretty good. Um, I reviewed that one here on the channel. And um, That Summer is good. I'm not, I think I've reviewed that one in the channel as well. Um, so those would be like my top five Sarah Dessen books. And I've read them all. Saint Anything is also up there. That one's probably number six on my list. Um, Dreamland is in the top ten. Um, and honestly, most of her books... Like, there's only a few that I would say are not because she only has about 12 novels. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, sorry that this review is very vague. I don't have a lot of information about this book. I just, I know that I read it and I know I read it all the way through. And when I read it, I liked it. But I just don't remember enough about it. So, it wasn't something that completely blew me away that I was, like, recommending to a whole bunch of people. Um, which was the case with someone like you. Um, if you have not checked out that one, unfortunately, I no longer have that book in my possession. So I, um, I can't, um, show you guys that one, but I will be probably doing a review of that book without the book because that is in the top 10 books that I've ever, um, read. And that book was what got me hooked on Sarah Dessen. Um, and the catchphrase for Sarah Dessen fans is that you read her once and fall in love. And that's so true because I've read one of her books and I've bought and read every single one of them since then. Um, 
And the moon and more would be a good one to start with. I mean, um, if you have never read Sarah Dessen, I would suggest reading the moon and more first because it's a good one to start with. It's a very good one to set the tone, get you into her writing style, um, because there isn't anything too traumatic that happens in that one either. So it's definitely one of the more happy, positive ones um, that just kind of follows teen adventures, if you will. Um, and so that's probably my overall recommendation of The Moon and More. It's a good one to start reading Sarah Dessen with. Um, and so is Once and for All, which I do have a review of in this channel. So I've rambled a little bit in this video. Sorry about that. Um, go check out my other videos um, for more concise reviews. And I will be looking to add um, like someone like you and this lullaby reviews as well. So check those out. And those will be like, that'll be like the culmination of all the Sarah Dessen books. Um, so it'd be pretty cool to have like a whole collection. So I'm going to look into doing those. We've got movie reviews coming very soon. So make sure you're a subscriber, hit that red button, um, and sign up for notifications and get notified when I publish new content. And also if you are not already a follower on my Instagram page, um, it's at your geeky girlfriend. And I have great collabs running right now with coupon codes, um, everything from swimwear to makeup to purses um, to jewelry. So go check that out. Check out my highlights to get those codes and those websites for referrals. Um, I get credit. You get good stuff. And um, it's a win-win for everyone. So go check those out and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. That's at your geeky girlfriend. Um, you can find that in the description of this video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.